today I'm going to show you how to rip any DVD or Blu-ray into a single MKV. Really easy and most importantly it's free. So the first thing we need to do is go onto Google and search for make MKV. It's usually the first link but the website will look like this so click the big green download button open the file give it a few seconds to load up okay click next yeah yeah it's all right. again I have this installed but we're just gonna don't worry about this click accept yep next install okay we'll run it from here now we need to leave this this website open we're gonna need it in a second so click finish wait for it to load up here's your program now the first thing we need to do is register now the software is free but you need a key so go to the forum go to news and announcements and then you need this link make mkv is free while in beta now i will leave a link in the description to this part of the forum so you can go find the key easily but at the end of the video, I'll show you how to use a bit of software to keep the key updated so you don't have to do this anymore. But for now, we need the key. So here's the key. We'll copy that. As you can see, it says it ends in July and you will need a key. So like I said, it does change. So copy the key. Go to help and then register. Like I said, I've had this in installed before, so here's my key. Just replace it anyway. Now when you click OK, you'll get a warning saying you need to reset. I didn't because, again, I've had it installed. Click OK, let the software reset, and then we'll move on to the next important part, actually ripping a disk into MKV. So now we need a disk. So. Now I have a disk, so I'll slap it in. Let it load up for a little bit. Sometimes this can take a little while. Depends on your drive or if you've ever used a disk before. There we go, click this. Now we actually have to read the disk. This can take a little while too. Sometimes, I don't know, 10, 20 seconds, sometimes a minute. It all depends. but. I've cut this little part of the video anyway, so it won't take as long as it actually takes. All right, now what we need to do is we've got to look for the, the film, pretty much. So what you're looking for here is the biggest file with the most chapters. Now there is one with 66 chapters at the bottom, but we can ignore that. So on select all, then our biggest file is 48 gigabytes so we need that one really that's most likely to be the film but we'll just double check yep and then now all we need to do click go yep and then we wait this is the part that's probably going to take the longest depending on your drive your PC if it, it, it could take anywhere from 40 minutes an hour like I said, as you can see, it says it's going to take about 55 minutes on this. But we're not going to sit here for 55 minutes anyway. And like I said, by the end of this, I'll, I'll show you how to uh, update it. But now we've skipped forward a bit. But yeah, we'll, uh, I'll leave a link to the thing to update it in the description. Okay, so now we're pretty much done. Ta da! Click OK. That is pretty much it. So here's our folder, here's our file. Now, as you can see, a full file, 45 gig, MKV. Done. Now I'll show you how to keep this all updated. So, like I said, I will leave a link to the exe for the updater, but if not, you need this website, the GitHub. And then what we do is we go to releases, click this, download the file, open the file. Right, 
what happens is when you open this it'll flash not a lot happens and then make mkv will open but pretty much it updated the key but i have a key so it won't do a lot here other than reopen the app so as you can see just it circles around but like i said the keys change once a month i would put a shortcut on your desktop as well the keys change once a month and this is just so much easier but that's it that's how you rip any disc to mkv